Hey everybody, Sean here from BoardParacord.com and I'm going to show you a new design. This one's by Joe Clegg. He calls it, um, 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 what did he call it? Undercurrent. So this is by Joe Clegg. It's called Undercurrent. It's kind of similar to another one called River Filled with Jumping Fish. However, there is one slight difference. Um, I'll show you what that is. Today I'm going to use two different colors. I've already fused them together right here six feet of each color probably won't use all of it but I'll show you what I don't use and the first color that I'm using is just regular yellow which is this one here and then the other color this is a new color I came up with called shockwave neon green and black probably gonna have more colors in that pattern coming soon but I really like this pattern so I wanted to do it in a bracelet alright so I flatten the ends here and what we're gonna do is take our buckle we're going to take our two working ends and go down through the top of the buckle toward the back, just like so. I'm going to get all my other excess out of the way. Now you're going to open up these long ends here and grab your two short ends and pull it up through there. And just keep pulling until you get down to where, where the ends are fused together at. And there's my phone going off, sorry about that. And we'll just pull that tight. And that's what we call the cow's hitch. That's how you attach your paracord to the buckle. Now we're going to flip the buckle over and run the paracord through your fingers this way. And this gets all your twists out. And then from your buckle, we just flip that back over and take the paracord from the bottom side toward the top now. And the yellow doesn't seem like it's melted very good, so we'll get it through there just a little bit harder. And then pull all your excess through until you get your basic shape of your bracelet which is this loop here should have two loops actually once you have that you can open your bracelet and we'll take our yellow cord off to the left and our green off to the right so now you've got your two cords coming up right out the top of the buckle it goes down to the other end of the buckle you're going to measure from this edge here down to the edge right here you don't want to measure these spikes here because that's going to be inside of the buckle on the other end and it doesn't count as part of your measurement I think I'm going to go about that long just for the video I don't know how long that is but it works good for me so the first thing you do let me uh, get this paracord wrapped around this chair here so let me get that okay there we go Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is just start off with the basic Cobra. And that is, you're just going to take your left cord, create a loop, take it off to the right side. Take your right cord over the yellow, behind the back, and up through the loop. Just like that, real easy. And we're just going to pull that nice and tight, and snug it right up to the buckle. Just get that as tight as you can, and once you think you got it tight enough, Remeasure just to make sure. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create this S loop that I like doing. I don't know why, but I like doing this one. So you're going to create a loop on the right, a loop on the left, and then it's going to go back over from where it came from. Now, the green one, what that's going to do, that one's going to come straight over everything right down through the middle. Once it does that, we're going to bring it up through the loop that it came on the side that it came from. So the green is always going to stay on the left, the yellow is always going to stay on the right. So the green basically, let me just zoom in on this for you real quick so you can see what's going on here. The green one went over the two yellows, down through the center, and then it came up through the loop on the right. And then you can go ahead and pull everything nice and tight. Just kind of hold on to your center cords right here and push everything toward the buckle. It'll help cinch it up. And then you can pull your cords tight. Just like that. Pretty simple. And now you're going to do the same thing but with the other side. So you're going to create that double loop. One here, one here. It does kind of a, an S shape. Your other color, straight down through the center. Bring it up through the loop on the side that it came from. Alright, and you pull it tight. 
All right, and I like to cinch this up before I pull it completely tight. There we go. You might have to pull a little of your slack out from the other side, just how I did. Grab hold of that loop and pull, and then pull this side and cinch it up. What we're going to have is kind of like this weaving pattern between yellow and green kind of going right down the center, which I kind of like. Right, so you create your S loop. Green goes down through the center and then up through the loop from the side it came from. And I'm going to pull that yellow cord tight. Cinch everything up. And pull it tight. Pretty easy. I really like this this cord, this green and green and black shockwave pattern. Really cool. All right, so we're over the center, down through the center, and up through the, the loop on the right. This one's pretty easy. You can do this one pretty quick, I think. Once you get the hang of what this design is doing. The design's kind of thrown off by this paracord because it's kind of like a zebra. When you put a bunch of them together, you can't really tell where where one ends and where one begins. But I think it looks good. I like this color. All right, so I'm going to show you a couple more here real quick. I hope I've been staying in the frame. I'm pretty close, aren't I? All right, we'll back up just a little. Um, did I just do this one? Yeah, I just did that color. All right, so yellow, create your two loops. Oh, cross over everything, down through the center, and up through the loop. It doesn't get a whole lot easier than this, so. Practice makes perfect, though. Let's get that tight. And get it cinched up. There we go. All right, and we'll create it. I'll do one more here. S loop down through the center, up through the loop where it came from. Backside looks just like a stitch Solomon, something along that line. All right, get that tightened up. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish this up, and I'll be back to show you how to finish off your bracelet. Okay, so I'm getting down close to the end here, and what I need to do is I need to get the the um, this green paracord into a fid. So what I did is I cut it at a real sharp angle. I'm just going to melt the end here. Just slightly, and then roll it in my fingers real quick. Grab my fid. And thread it right into the fid. Just like that. And the reason I did this is because you have to go down through the center. And on this last pass, it's really hard if you don't have a tool to help you out. So we're just going to go down through the center. Make sure you go over top of that loop there and then come up through that loop. Just like that. Okay, we'll pull that one tight, pull this one tight, pull this one tight, and then cinch it up. Now we should have just enough room left over to do one Solomon pass. So you can pick either color, it doesn't matter at this point, to go over the top. And just like as you started at the beginning, we're just gonna do that at the end here. Tighten that right up. And this will allow us to give us a cut point here and here. I'm going to take this fit off of here. I got that screwed way in there. Okay, there we go. Alright, so we're just going to cut our end right here. Leave about an eighth of an inch overhang. And I've got about a foot left out of the six feet I started with. And this is about an eight inch bracelet, I would say. Just going to melt this down a little bit. Use my smoothing tool. Give that a nice rounded, clean, soft feel to it. And I got about a foot left of the, the shockwave color also. 
and do the same thing on the side. Just gonna melt that down and use the smoothing tool again. Give it a nice clean look. Now this one, when it's all finished, you do have to go back and adjust a little bit. Um, you can kind of see when I started. I don't know if I messed up there and did an extra yellow in there. I think I might have. Um, but it does require a little, little uh, adjusting as you go. Um, the back side looks pretty cool too. So if you got a flat buckle, this would be a good one for that. But this is the main one here, and this is again, this is by Joe Clegg. Uh, this is undercurrent. Hope you appreciate the video, I'm, and I hope you like the video. I would say this is actually probably around the eight and a half, nine inch bracelet. It's pretty big. Um, keep an eye out. I got a newsletter coming out pretty soon here. Keep an eye out. It's going to have the Black Friday deals in it, and you don't want to miss those for sure. And they'll get posted on the Facebook group as well. So check that out. It's facebook.com slash pair, or I'm sorry, facebook.com slash groups slash paracord on. And until next time, paracord on.